All right, here we go. Azir. Okay, so Azir is supposed to make sense of the silver stuff. Let's see. And also Azir, as far as I remember, was the master, like master disciple uh, relationship with Zareth. And then Zareth supposedly killed Azir, and he and then he became the emperor. But Azir is alive because League. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode Let's see. of the Lore of League of Legends. In this episode, we're going to be covering the League's latest champion, as well as the ancient history behind the fall of Sharima. Okay. Without further ado, I present to you the lore of Azir, the Emperor of the Sands. I'm assuming that has to do with Sivir, the fall of Sharima. A thousand years ago, the glorious Empire of Sharima shone like a second sun across the deserts of Rude Terra. Mm -hmm. Its emperor, Azir, was young and ambitious and in consequence, easily manipulated. Oh. Azir's chief magus, Zareth, whispered there in the ear of the young emperor that the ancient light of ascension would give the young emperor the power that he so craved. Mm. Even though there were ancient warnings that the ritual should only be attempted during times of direst threat. Azir's hubris proved disastrous, however, and as the sun disk focused the dawn rays into a transformative beam, Zareth betrayed Azir, stealing the power for himself and obliterating the Emperor in the process. Hmm. Zareth was remade as a spectral being of pure malevolent energy. Yep. The once beautiful city was swallowed whole by the desert. Yep. So how did Azir survive? Two of the ascended heroes of Shuriman legend, Nasus and Renekton, Sensed yeah. in an instant that something had gone terribly wrong and rushed to the sun disk. So does this change the story of Renekton and Nasus then? The two heroes hurled Zareth into this a chain sarcophagus, before? but the Magus proved too strong for his bonds, oh. shattering it into shards. Right, you oh, come on. No. Zareth is not stronger than Nasus. Zareth, Zareth cannot stop Nasus. Fucking ghost, man. It's, it's done. Seeing no alternative, Renekton dragged Zareth into the tomb of the Emperors, shouting to his brother Nasus to seal the door behind them. Okay. With a heavy heart, Nasus entombed his brother with the Mad Magus in the buried ruins for all eternity. Yeah, so, so they definitely did. changed the Nasus Renekton story at this point. Believed at least. Sharima and its captives would continue to lay dormant for a thousand years. That is, until a noble woman of Noxus, Cassiopeia, appeared on the edge uh, of the desert looking for a guide to take her to the fabled... Okay, so this was a, a thousand years before current lore. And then Sivir and Cassiopeia came to Sharima to open some door. Lost city. Okay. She came across Sivir and set out with her across the desert to find the buried bones of Sharima. Yeah. For five days they trekked across the burning sands until they came across towers jutting out from the sand and a stairwell leading down into the darkness. With the tomb of the emperors and Cassiopeia's sight, she betrayed Siva, running her through and relinquishing her of her blade, the key to the tomb. Cassiopeia placed it into the lock and triggered the Guardian's curse on the tomb. The stone serpent that hung above the tomb sprang to life, pinning the Noxian noblewoman in its jaws. Did she betray Sivir? Was, wasn't was Sivir hesitant to do it? And then Cassiopeia... Uh, like, it would make more sense. Like, Sivir's like, yeah, I don't want to... Uh, you know, I don't want to open it. I feel... I have a bad feeling about this shit. And then Cassiopeia's like, you're a fucking coward. Give me that shit. She's like, no, 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 let's not. Like, and then she takes it, kind of like she was impatient, kind of thing. More so than betrayed her, you know? Hmm. I feel like that would be better, but yeah. It's acid searing her flesh and leaving her malformed. Wait, 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 wait. Who? To life, pinning the Noxian noblewoman yeah. in his jaws. Yeah. It's acid searing her flesh and okay. leaving her malformed. Okay, so the... The, oh, okay, so this is how Cassiopeia is supposed to turn into a snake now. So again, something changed from the old story. Okay. The tomb opened. Renekton burst through, twisted beyond insanity, followed oh. by Zareth, the oh. architect of his torment. 
Siva crawled away, blood pouring from her wound into the sand below, and eventually succumbing to the darkness. Although she did not know it, Siva is the last in the bloodline of Azir, Sharima's lost emperor. Whoa, okay. <laughs> As her blood soaked into the ancient sand, a deep, almost forgotten magic sparked to life. The resurrection of Azir had begun. Buddy, granddaddy Azir's coming into the rescue. Begun. First his mind, then his body snatched back from oblivion to be reborn into this world. He saw Siva. Wondering at her face and saw himself in this, a daughter of Sharima. In that moment, he possessed no thought of empires or rituals. All that he knew was that she needed his help. So this is more than just about Azir. This is like a whole fucking revelation about like multiple characters. Holy shit. He took her to the Oasis of the Dawn, the Mother of Life. The Emperor smelt the waters, the smell of life, and prayed that he was in time to save her, and did not dream that he, Sharima's greatest Emperor, could, after a thousand years, earn his ascension and bring back his broken city. He dared not dream that if he could save her, the young Emperor could save them all. With this selfless act, the power that Azir once craved was finally bestowed upon him. Okay. Emerging from a blinding flash of light. Yeah, you can't gain power out of um, self-ambition. You, you only gain power by helping or protecting others. And it's a noble cause, but not real, not real life. <laughs> Ascend it, and with it, the power to restore his once glorious empire. Okay. So, so in this one story, they basically updated Zareth, they updated Nasus Renekton, and they updated Cassiopeia. All right, good. We are getting to the to the new juicy shit. I'm assuming there is no more Institute of War. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, that was a zero. We'll go next.